Ibrahim Karanja, KTN News. And now on to something fishy. One would expect that where a product originates from is where it should be the cheapest if the laws of supply and demand are anything to go by. However, that is not the case with Kisumu fish. As KTN's Brian George Otieno explains, the problem lies squarely with fish imports. Take a look. In the recent past, social media has been awash with comments to afford a meal of fish and ugali in the lakeside city of Kisumu. And it all started here with lawyer Wahome Thuku posting on his verified Facebook page how he made the discovery of the price of Nile patch, or as it is commonly referred to in Kisumu as Ngege. His post read, and I quote, So the smallest fish at Dunga Beach is about 500 shillings. You can even say 400 shillings. So at what point does the common man in Kisumu get to eat fish? End quote. An avalanche of comments accompanied his posts with many making fun. So we sought to find out why fish is this expensive. So I'm here in Kenyatta Market in Nairobi to find out from a fishmonger why fish is so expensive from Kisumu and at how much they sell it here and what are some of the dy dynamics of the business, especially right now during a pandemic. I'm catching up with Anyango. Anyango, karibu sana. Asante sana. So, could you please tell us, kwa nini samaki ni pesa mingi hivo? Samaki imekuwa pesa mingi juu, imekuwa kidogo kwa lake. Okay. Lake imekuwa na ile haya sinti laribu lake kabisa. So, ime, there are very few na demand iko juu. Okay. Alafu tax pia imekuwa juu kabisa kabisa. Okay. So, mwajua wanyo 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 suppliers wetu, wanyo kwa nyumbani, wanatumia garama mingi. Wananunua barafu, wananunua hizi basket ya kueka. Wananua, wananua, wanalipa transport wa bayaju, yeah. alafu wanatumia time pia ya kafi, pia mojomba lazima pia wangalie. So things are very expensive. Fish imports from China have been rising steadily over the past five years. Amid is disquiet from local fishmongers. Data from the Department of Fisheries Kenya shows Kenya imported fish worth 1.5 billion shillings from China in 2020 alone. However, in the face of various restrictions in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, imports decreased from the 2.2 billion worth of fish imported in 2019. As a result of reduced imports, fish prices in the country rose 11% to an average of 175 shillings a kilo from 158. Kenya is in a fix as China continues to gain a foothold in the market as the volumes of the country's major sources of fish like Victoria dwindles. The current demand for fish in the country is at 600,000 metric tons, with Kenyan fish farmers only producing 140,000 metric tons per year. Meanwhile, China remains the world's leading exporter of frozen fish, representing 11.6% of the market. Chinese imports of tilapia, the most popular in Kenya, are also cheaper, averaging at around 250 shillings while local meat sells between 350 and 400 depending on the size. These are natural fish, the tilapia here. The taste and the quality makes the pricing to be a little bit higher. The ones in Nairobi are the ones that are from KJS and from Uganda. So you can see that this taste is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Hapa kwa beach tukuna samaki fresh. Inamanisha samaki inatoka kwa lake. Kama badu iko hai. Na inaingizu ina, ina wa kwa mafuta hivo. Inakarangwa hivi. Inamanisha tunakula vitu fresh. Regardless of the harsh economic realities brought about by the pandemic, customers still throng Kenyatta market here in Nairobi. A spot check at Anyango's fish place reveals it all. Dozens are here to eat her fish. Samaki ndio iko bei ya juu lakini si tunapenda samaki. Lazima tukumbuke tukule samaki. Where we come from, we were born in the lake. And uh, in fact I have come all the way from Ongadarongai to come here and eat this samaki. Wow. And in fact, if you check my car in the next 30 minutes, you will find a very big fish like this I'm taking to my wife. <laughs> this one is only 550 only. <laughs> only that's why fish is expensive, but still, people still stream in here to come and take fish. Brian George Otieno, KTN News, Nairobi. Ongeza customer. Thank you very much, Brian George. Now let's move on to.